It is the viral photo that sparked outrage. Tonight, we're learning about the punishment handed down to the firefighters you see right there in that picture. City of Detroit and its fire department want to put this picture in its past. Well, they sure do. Today, the department handed out punishment to the group of firefighters here and their four supervisors. Rob Maloney was there today for a special meeting where the discipline was handed down. This looks like so many other burned out hulks in the city of Detroit, but the truth of the matter is the story behind what happened at this fire is far larger and has caused great embarrassment for the city fire department. It took all of a half hour at the Southwest Public Safety offices, a dozen firefighters, four sergeants disciplined for taking part in the now infamous viral smoldering selfie. Firefighters Association representative Chris Smith told Local 4. There, there were some suspensions, you know, and uh, and then we'll just go from there. We'll get back with the department and uh, follow up and see uh, where we go from here. Part of the controversy came when a dispute arose whether the house was vacant. It wasn't. It was under renovation. Radio traffic that night shows the crews did know. Was that occupied or vacant, ladder 13? I was occupied. Everyone involved now admits it was poor judgment. The snap gives the terrible impression crews were not trying to put out the blaze. That was not the case. Investigation showed, and these union provided pictures do as well, that they did battle the blaze, even going into the burning home. It was so fully involved, though, the chief pulled crews out for safety. They went into what's called a defensive posture, making sure the fire doesn't spread any farther, and took the picture in that moment as a retirement farewell for a captain. These men and women shouldn't be judged. Uh, professionally or personally on this incident. We understand uh, the appearance, and I'm sure these men and women do too. Uh, and we just want to uh, remind the public that these are the same men and women that serve and protect every single day. Now, we reached out to the Higginbotham family that owns this house to get their reaction to the discipline. They opted out because they're suing the city. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, neither the union nor the city are giving specifics of the exact penalties either because this is a personnel matter. The city tonight saying its investigation into this incident is now complete.